Namaste, friends. Namaste, friends. Welcome to day five. Day five is an auspicious day because we visit the realms of that rascal, devotional monkey god, Hanuman. <laughs> but let's still, because especially because it's Hanuman, let's start with a deep breath. And breathe out. And a deep breath. Especially today as we focus on Hanuman, the breath is so important because Hanuman is the son of the wind. Hanuman is one of the 300 million gods in the Hindu pantheon. Mm -hmm. So really there's a god for every essence, every energy, every focus, every quality of life. And every one of these gods has a certain form that is comprehensible to us. The divine is so vast that we need the form to be able to relate to it better. If we imagine a god that has the face of a monkey that can jump over the ocean, that is immune against weapons, that has extreme powers and never-ending energy. All arising from devotion to spirit, devotion to life. So when we imagine that, we can relate to this energy. We know what this energy feels like mm. within our bodies. So Hanuman is that energy. It's the energy of life force, of strength through devotion. You know, this is one of the big mysteries of the guru-devotee relationship. It's the quality of devotion that the guru inspires in the devotee, which creates the freedom for the devotee to experience his own inner being. It's a strange dynamic because the guru himself will tell you he or she is not present as a personality. So the devotion ultimately is devotion to spirit, to the great spirit, to the universal spirit, which is inside us all. So this mantra helps us accomplish actions and attempt things that we wouldn't be able to do without being tapped into the greater force, the life force of the universe. Mm. It's actually a mantra also for physical fitness, you know, because the practice that we do to keep our bodies fit is so much more meaningful and powerful if we devote it to the cosmos, to the divine, to the divine spirit. Then it doesn't become a self-centered exercise of creating a beautiful body or having the most beautiful muscles, but it is actually also a meditation that we can offer up and devote to the greater good. Can we just focus on that a moment? Just close your eyes. How do we express devotion? What are we devoted to? Let's find what we are devoted to. Let's see if we can focus on those words, to be devoted to the great spirit, something unexplainable, but tangible. Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible also, but something we know is there. Can we, can we give our lives to that essence, to that quality? Can we enrich our lives by being devoted to the great spirit? This is the challenge and, and with this mantra, it's the potential. It's where devotion meets eternity. So the mantra is Om 
Hum Hanumate Vijayam. Om Hum Hanumate Vijayam. Hum, as we've heard before, is the seed sound for the fifth chakra, for the throat chakra. And it brings us into attunement with the quality of ether. Hanuman mantras work directly with the prana. They work with our life force, the life force that we take in through breathing. That's why it's so important always to come back to our breath and consciously receive the life force through the breath. And the breath is where we connect with the spirit. Air is all around. Air is what connects us all. As we breathe in, we breathe in the connection with everything. The boundaries dissolve in the breath. Hum is also a very powerful sound that eradicates darkness. Hanumate, onas Hanuman. And Vijayam, Vijayam means victory too. Om Hum Hanumate Vijayam. Let's close in our eyes and stay with our breath as we prepare for the mantra. Yeah.
Feeling the strength in the body, the readiness for actions, the readiness to face life with devotion. In the spirit, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Namaste. Om. Hanumate Vijayam Om Om Hanumate Vijayam Om 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 Hanumate Vijayam Om Om Hanumate
Shanti, Shanti.